Hi, it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and I am back for 2022 to give you a wrap up of my favourites. Some old and some new. So I've got five of each to share with you. And these are the products and supplies that I've been loving for the past year. And if you've not come across them, I hope you'll check them out. I've got all the links down below for you. So the first thing on my list and probably the most used, so I've got a couple of these now, is this Pentel Technicolic Pencil. As you can see, it's just a mechanical pencil. You can refill it. Um, it's easy to just get extra lead by clicking here. It's got an eraser. But what I love about it is just the way that it makes my writing seem so much better. Out of all the pencils that I've tried, this is my favorite. I do love my black wing, don't get me wrong, but I don't like the fact they need sharpening. And I just love, I mean, I've got these everywhere. I've got them at work, I've got them in my pencil case, my craft room, um, my planner desk. I've got them all over the place. So I absolutely love these. So the, um, I got this from Office Works. So check out the link below for that. And the next one you've probably come across as well, although I've only got it recently. I ordered this online from Amazon because um, I saw it was a favourite for quilling, which I got into last year. Um, but I've actually been using it for more than quilling. Um, I love the way that it comes out. It is very tacky. It's great for sticking on. Um, it's not one we see commonly here in Australia. I have seen a lot of Amer American YouTubers use it. And I can understand why now that I've got it myself. I'm always on the lookout for new liquid glues as well as the tape runner glues and adhesives but this one is definitely my favorite so even though it's in a big bottle you can still get quite small um, applications of it if you want it's great just for widespread as well probably use the wrong bit of paper here to show you how it works so it'd be in metallic but um, I just wanted you to see just um, how easy this was and it does dry pretty quickly um, and it doesn't come out too fast at all which can be the case with some of the the bigger bottles that you get so this has been my favorite liquid glue for the year the other new favourite, well, new for me, is these Distress Ink refills. Now, they've been around a long time, but this is the first year that I've actually purchased them. Just get my little craft mat. I just want to show you um, the, exactly why I love these. Um, they are obviously super concentrated, um, but you can just almost feel the thickness of them. They're not, they're not liquidy at all. They're more like a gel, and the concentrated colour is gorgeous. You get so much control with it. Um, I've got a scrap piece of paper here. It's not um, definitely not watercolour piece of paper, but you can see just how great these are to use. So I've started using these, not at all for refills. There's only one of my ink pads that's needed a refill. Um, I've been using it for um, just colouring with because they are watercolours as well. And I guess because I'm so familiar with the Distress Range colours and you know knowing which is picked raspberry and, and so on, that it's been great for me to get to know these colours a bit more. You know, knowing I can blend Mermaid Lagoon, pick raspberry and get this gorgeous purple colour. You know, which is obviously very similar to some of the others that we have, like Wilted Violet, Villainous Potion or whatever. Um, it's just been fantastic for me. So really enjoyed using them this year. Um, obviously, the, the more water you apply, it changes the colour as well. Makes them a little bit lighter, of course. But yeah, just even looking how that beads up. You know, if I was to apply some, some real watercolour paper to that, um, it would make a fantastic background, wouldn't it? So um, I, I've been loving the refills. I plan on getting more of them. Um, definitely hoping um, to increase my supply of those and get more use out of them this year. Another Ranger product comes in at number four. New to me, they have been around a little while, is the Distress Mica Spray. So I started off getting, I think, the Christmas collection in these and I went straight for the metallics because everyone needs metallics. Um, I did them, have them on my stand until I saw Tim Holtz mention that these should be kept on the side just so the ends don't get clogged. So they're just kept in my little mixed media drawer now like this instead. But again, I just love these, um, the uh, outline effect I'll, I'll get another piece of scrap paper just to show you not if you're not familiar with these I do normally spray into a little box so it doesn't go everywhere um, so this is the snow flurries one and again this is just copy of paper it's just scrap paper so it won't obviously show as great an effect as it would if I was using proper cardstock but already you can see that's drying hopefully and hopefully the sparkle is coming across um, I love anything sparkly and love the fact that this is all built in into the spray. I don't need to go over it at all with um, with any of my glitter or, um, 
you know, Stardust, all of those products that we normally use, Winker Stella and so on. I love the fact that it's already built in. My only comment on these is that I really think instead of doing new names, they should have just started a new collection of Distress Mica strains with the colours that we already know and are familiar with. But that's that's my only call. I, I really think they should have maybe stuck to the, the colour names. But there you go. Um, that is the Distress Mica stains and I've been loving using those in my mixed media this year. And the last new product, and you may have seen my videos, I'll put a link to it, is the Lindy's Magical Shaker Powders. Now again, these are not a new product, but they are new to me, and I have actually been loving using these. Ooh, that's a bit much, wasn't it? I put it a little bit too much there. Um, the way they react, it really has made me want to play a lot more with mixed media, having these supplies in my stash. Um, they're just gorgeous. Look at the colours, how vibrant they are and um, some of them are just fantastic. So I did do a video just on this um, because I just spent probably a full afternoon just play, just playing with them to be honest. So I just recorded myself doing that um, and all the different ways you can use them and I just swatched them all out. But I um, absolutely love the vibrancy of these colors. And there's, there's, they've got quite a few. Um, I've just got 10 different ones. I think this will do me. But loving these magical shakers. If you've not come across them, definitely check them out. So let's move on to my old something else. So this is products that have been in my craft room a while that I've really enjoyed using this year. I'm going to start by showing just how it looks on my desk at the moment. So you see I've got these clear drawers that I use and this year when I did my craft room reorganisation I decided to repurpose these drawers. So for example these originally were um, holding all of my washi tapes and, and it's perfect for washi tapes because it's got these little sections here as you can see. But hopefully you can also see that it's absolutely perfect, the right width to hold the archival inks as well. Let me get one of them down and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So this is the one that I got for Muji. Um, I went to Melbourne in June, so I was able to pick up this Muji case. And I actually love the fact that it holds my all my distress inks with room to grow because we know they keep bringing out new colours. Um, but I love the fact that I can just keep them in the kind of the colour families and then just bring out the drawer straight from the top of my desk for the colours that I want to use. Um, fits them absolutely perfectly. I love having them on display rather than just tucked away in the drawer. It means I can get stuff in the drawers that I don't necessarily want on display. And I always want all of my colours out on display. Bring me a lot of joy just looking at them. I love looking at all the rainbow colours. So that is something old in my craft room this year. All of my acrylic drawers that I've repurposed to old all of my inks. The other thing that I've used a lot of, because um, I've done a lot of card making this year rather than scrapbooking, is sentiment strips. Again, I've got a video on this where I show you how I've kind of organised them. Um, I've got all my extras at the side here, so I already pre-cut the strip so it's quicker and easier for me to um, look through them. But I'm just loving the different uh, sentiment strips. So I've got some from Paper Rose Studio, I've got some from Uniquely Creative, and they always send you um, like multiple, so I just cut up one of each, keep them in my little pockets, and when I'm card making, I can just um, pop that out and pick one that suits. So much quicker than using a stamp to emboss it, to cut it, and, and all that stuff. Um, love the fact you can also um, apply foil on some of these um, because they're printed with toner. So ones with black background, you can make any background color you want. So that's an added benefit as well. But uh, sentiment strips, I think for me, have been a godsend for helping me speed up my card making. I also think it's a lot more cost effective as well because rather than buying a stamp that you'll use one or twice, you've got these that you can use um, you know, over and over. There's so many on each sheet. I don't think you'll ever run out of them. Um, you see just how many I've got for thanks and, and congratulations here. So um, having these has definitely been um, one of my favorites in my craft room this year. My other favourite, again it's not a new product, it's an old product but new to me, is stickles. And this year I've really ramped up my collection. I used to just have like the Christmas red and the green um, and just the icicle as well. But this year I decided to go full on and fill up this little nail polish container full of stickles as you can see. We're down to the last two. So my penultimate favourite in my craft room with an old product, not a new, has been the Deco Fall Transfer Gel. Now I've been using a lot more of the Duo Gel this year because you don't need to heat that one up. This one you've got to put in a laminator machine. You can just um, do it cold, which has been fantastic. 
I do have the Couture Creations uh, op file machine, but I'm very lazy and just being able to grab this out and use this um, is just a lot quicker for me. And I'm also not limited. I'm limited with needing the hot files with the machine. I know filing has been really popular this year. I think this is really stretching my files and being able to use them in a different way. So I love having these really, it's an affordable way if you want to get into filing but I want to spend all that money on an op file machine, just go for this, go for this. You can buy the files, you can spread it down, you can use stencils, or you can just spread it on a piece of card. Let it dry for about an hour to get tacky, put your file on top, burnish it a little and to apply a bit of pressure and then you'll have a fantastic um, image with this. So absolutely love this product, um, really affordable for what it is and definitely a good entryway into the world of foiling. And I think you're going to be surprised with my last favourite. I'm going to go another little video here on my phone to show you a view of my desk. This is my desk in front of me. Um, and my last favourite is scraps, believe it or not. So last year I did do some reorganisation videos. I basically wanted to get rid of all the waste. And this system has been working for me now for a good 12 months. I've got this tray, it's just full of white. So it's a mix of copy paper, blending paper, just normal cardstock. I've got all kinds in there um, that are scraps. And my goal is to keep it contained within this. And then I've got my other little acrylic drawer here. This is my pattern paper and then this is just coloured cardstock as well. And I'm really pleased with myself that I've been able to maintain it to this level. Having it literally at eyesight as I'm looking out on my desk has been the winner I think for me because I know as soon as I need something um, it's literally in my eye line and I can have a look before I get up. Because that's far easier for me than, I'm going to show you where I've moved my coloured stop to. So this is now where I keep my paper and my card instead so they're the full pieces um, as well as some up here as well. These are the 12 by 12s. So I've, the ones that I don't really want to use I've put furthest away because you know I don't want to go straight into a 12 by 12 sheet if I've got scraps or if I've got an A4 piece available as well. So that really has been the winner for me. So keeping my scraps down and of course when you utilise your scraps you're keeping your cost down as well aren't you? So that is it for me for 2022. Thank you for following, watching, liking, commenting my channel, my YouTube, my Facebook, my Etsy, however you support me in whatever way you support me I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for a great year.